Good afternoon everybody, um, I'm going to do, a, well, remaking uh, the video on how to edit PBOs and extract PBOs to load them into the editor. This won't require any uh, folder making, uh, file renaming or anything. It's really simple and really easy. Uh, right, so the first thing you need to do is download PBO Manager. The link I'll put in the video uh, description below. Uh, wow, I never th thought I'd say that. Uh, anyway, so once you've downloaded it, just install it, and <laughs> you don't really need that, so just get rid of the icon. Uh, once it's installed, right, so let's say uh, you download a temp the template for Molden. Let's do this. So the PBO should look like this or something similar. <coughs> so all you have to do is right click and here you'll see a PBO manager. Simply go down to the last option where it says extract to template.molden. So it will automatically create this folder for you so you don't have to do anything. So literally you just click it and there you go. Right, so once you're done with that uh, if you go to your documents, Armour 3, no wait, it's some documents, Armour 3, missions. For, to make things easier, you can either just send that to your desktop, which I've done. So, and I've renamed it Editor Missions. Uh, so literally, you open that up right and these are all the missions that are saved in my editor all you have to do drag it is that simple it is literally that simple um, all right so once you've dragged it uh, you won't get this option so once you dragged it and you just load up the game I'll see you in the game Right, so once you have your launcher up, please go to your mods page and download the SAS editing pack from the Discord. Once you're on Discord, again, mods page, go to your presets up here. And for argument's sake, you don't have anything loaded. Just expand the preset by clicking on that arrow there. Now click import and then click the editing, editing pack it will say preset it might say this just click over right and it will automatically load the editing pack and what you can do now is save it so save as SAS editing pack done I'll see you in the game Right, so you're now in game. Go to your editor. Remember the one that we have, the folder we moved was a molden template. Well, in fact, you, yeah. So go to your molden editor. Right, cool. So now we're in Molden. Now if we go to open, you don't have to click MP missions, you just stay on missions and you'll see the template that we have uh, transferred. And just click open. It might like, there we go, done. That is it. So now you're on the template for making your own mission. So it does it. It does all the player setup for you, all the respawn positions, all the arsenals. Uh, all you have to do. So the first thing you do when you load a template and you make your mission, go to scenario and save as. Name it something. Name it your mission um, name. 
So let's say test save. So now you're now editing test .molden, not the template. So this this leaves the template for Molden clean, so you can use it again in the future. Again, all you have to do load up the template. Scenario save as your mission name save so if we have a look go to your editor documents armor documents armor 3 Tyler missions folder and you'll see it's created these for you but since that we're not using them that's not part of the video but that is it, that is how easy it is to start creating your your own mission. Um, if you have any questions, message me directly. It, you shouldn't need to ask anything, it's so simple, it's so straightforward. Alright, thanks guys.